During the time that they were in the studio working on One Hand Clapping, the band had just finished their seventh week in a row at the top of the album charts in the United Kingdom with their album Band on the Run. They made the recording at the illustrious Abbey Road Studios, which is also the location where he participated in a documentary. Even though there was a lot of uproar from fans, the record was never officially released. In the course of working on the documentary and record, David Litchfield collaborated with them for more than four days. It will be released on June 14th, marking the first time in 50 years that the record has been made available to the public in an official capacity. According to the press release, One Hand Clapping was a showcase for Wing's new lineup, which was just a few days after the band had returned from Nashville, where they had recorded the memorable hit Junior's Farm. Following the untimely departure of Denny Sewell and Henry McCullough the previous year, on the eve of recording the Wings masterpiece, Band on the Run, Paul, Linda, and Denny Lane were now joined by guitarist Jimmy McCulloch and drummer Jeff Britton. Additionally, the CD includes updated renditions of famous songs by the Beatles, such as Let It Be, The Long and Winding Road, and Lady Madonna. The revelation that Disney Plus will broadcast a repaired version of Let It Be from 1970 on May 8th comes shortly after the news that the album will be released the following day. Around 54 years ago, the movie was released for the very first time in theaters. Michael Lindsay Hogg was the director of the documentary. Due to the fact that it had been difficult to locate, audiences will be overjoyed at the opportunity to view it once more.